All right, take two. Why? Because I got cats. That's why. I've already opened my beer. It's Friday, baby. Friday the 13th, baby. That's a big deal. So get the beer off the ice and get ready to put the bud in the bowl, baby. If I can get through this without any assistance. Mmm. I hope your beer is as cold as mine. I hope the sun is shining on you. And if it ain't, I hope your heart is warm anyway. Get the bud in the bowl. And let's get, oh, whew, practicing, baby. Let's get ready to have a nice, relaxing weekend. Get ready for next week's bullshit. It's coming up. Y'all know that. Anyway. Let's get that out of the way here so we can cut it right at the right moment. It is Friday. Not only Friday, Friday the 13th, baby. So whatever you're doing out there, do it with caution. Be careful out there. You know how they say about Friday the 13th. But it could be lucky for somebody out there. I don't know that Mega Millions or something, that jackpot way up there, baby. I hope you win. I hope your life gets better, baby. I hope your life gets better anyway. It is Friday. What's going on? Well, it's been a whole week almost since the Republicans took over the House, baby. And they're, they're picking up steam, baby. They got things going on. They want to do shit. As a matter of fact, they're going to start an investigation on lots of stuff. Hunter Biden on one, you know that was coming. And, and an investigation into the withdrawal of Afghanistan. We're going to find out what happened there in Afghanistan when everybody had to get out so quick. Boy, howdy shit. Talk about ring a bell in your ear. Yeah, it's always, you know, it's always, it's bad, baby. There's always something that precipitates it to get people into war. We can get into war real easy. The problem is keeping soldiers alive and getting them home again. But withdrawal, that ain't never easy, baby. And it wasn't in Afghanistan. It wasn't in Vietnam. I remember the, everybody remembers the last birds leaving Saigon, baby, from the top of the embassy. Not a pretty picture. War ain't never pretty. But we're going to have an investigation on how we got out. Never mind the fact that I remember a whole lot of shit Donnie Boy did leading up to his departure and tried to fuck everything up. That's another story. But the, but the investigations have begun, and that's what the Republicans are going to go. And are you shitting me with the documents that they got going on? And Joe Biden, they're going to scream and holler. Are they going to get anything done for the people? No, are you shitting me? They got investigations to do. They're going to find out, get to the bottom of all that shit. Yeah. Well, guess what? The debt ceiling runs out January 19th. Full faith and, and credit of the United States government on the line. And what makes me think that Republicans are going to hold a shit show? You know, we have raised the debt ceiling because we have a, we have a spending problem, baby, and like any, anybody with a credit card. Yeah, we should have done what? what I read a story where Bolsonaro, the guy from Brazil, you know, the guy staying down there with Donnie and Mar Largo, when he left, before he left, he put a 100-year secrecy uh, ban on all government, all presidential credit card purchases. So not for 100 years will Brazil know. What boss, boss, excuse me, good refreshments. What Bolsonaro did when he went out the door. And I, I'm sure Do, if Donnie could have, he would have, baby. But uh, anyway, everybody's under investigation now. And uh, and we're, we're going to get to the bottom of all the documents, I hope, baby, because I'm not afraid of what they're going to find out about Joe Biden. But I'm damn sure interested in what they're going to find out about Donnie Boy, because I believe we're dealing with two different kinds of people here. One is a public servant who's given his life to this country. The other ones are just a scum-sucking, lying sack of shit. Who, by the way, whose company got fined $1.6 million for being a crooked company over the last three decades. $1.6 million. Are you shitting me? Really? That That's supposed to make a dent? Of course, the uh, Trump organization ain't got much money more nowadays. Uh, they're having budget problems, I understand, or some shit. I don't know why. Maybe lawyer costs. I don't know. But uh, everything's going to continue on. But what we see right now, starting with the investigation and the withdrawal of Afghanistan, with a Hunter Biden shit, no matter what, with the documents, it is going to be a show, baby. And it's going to give them a lot of reason to holler about all sorts of things that are just outrageous. And this is unfading weaponization. And you can't do it. It's going to be everything. So stay tuned, baby. But pay attention. And uh, But we've got a crisis coming up. Let's see how they handle the debt ceiling and anything else that's got any responsibility to it. Anyway, y'all take care of yourself. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your B&B. &B, whatever it is that you do to relax, do it. And uh, enjoy your weekend because we got to get ready for next week's shit because there's going to be a ton of it, you know. Anyway, take care of yourself. Have a good weekend, baby. We'll see y'all later.